Hello everyone and welcome to this video on shortest job first SJF scheduling algorithm for computer processors uh, we will look through uh, how shortest job first works and some uh, programs applications that I uh, wrote on shortest job first just to simulate the process not actually to control the processor shortest job first as its name implies uh, actually give priority to the shortest job on the list at a given time uh, at a given time the shortest job among all the jobs will be done will be processed for a particular amount of time and then it will look for look again for the next shortest job that could be the same job again or another job on the list okay so that this is shortest job in short now let's look at how SJF work okay so this is our processor and the fan inside the processor actually indicates the processor is working and these P1 P2 P3 P4 are our tasks on the list where every block for every process is a single amount in uh, actually single amount of time we are considering 1s that means 1 second of task so p1 is of total 4 second of task p2 3 second p3 4 second and p4 2 second so obviously let's start the processor now the processor started kind of animation really nice powerpoint anyway uh, here the shortest job is P4 so obviously the processor will choose the one second task from P4 and then it will look for the next task to process so obviously currently the shortest job is P4 as it contains only one second of task so it will again process a piece of P4 then the next shortest job is P2 as it contains only three second of task so it will go for it and process it okay so now the next shortest job is p2 but the problem is that at the same moment another task p5 arrived with one second of uh, tasks in hand so obviously the shortest job is not p2 anymore the shortest job is p5 so the processor will process p5 instead of p2 okay so that's how SJF works let's look at another example that that's in the blog post let's consider that at a given moment there are three three tasks we have they haven't really arrived yet process A will arrive at zero second just consider a moment zero second with a total amount of task of three seconds process B will arrive at one second with two seconds of task in hand and process C will arrive at two seconds with a total amount of task of one second okay uh, here still we have the CPU now at zero second process A arrived with three seconds of task in hand so at zero second the CPU will process one second of task from A and will go to will increase. So in the next one second uh, next moment process B arrived with two seconds of task in hand. So now process A and process B both have a remaining of two second of task but as process A arrived before process B the CPU will take one second of task from process A and then will jump to the next level at that moment 2s process C arrived with one second of task in hand so now process A and process C both have one second of task in hand but process A will get priority as it arrived earlier so at two second process A will be processed so at three second process A is done it is done before the three second moment so 
process A was processed in 0, 1 and 2 seconds. Now at process at time 3 we have process B and process C where process C is shortest as it, it uh, contains only 1 second of task. So at the third second process C will be processed. Okay, so we arrived at the fourth second. Here we have only B, the process remaining with two seconds of task. So at fourth second, one second of task from process B will, will be processed. Then at fifth second, another one second of task from process B will be processed. So that's how at when we, when the processor actually we uh, arrived at the sixth second. We have already completed all our tasks. How we completed? A, B, and C total three, two, one, six seconds of task. We started at zero, so zero, one, two for process A, three for process C, and four and five for process B. So we can see that though C arrived later than B, it was processed earlier than B. This is how shortest job work. Anyway, now we'll look to uh, my C++ co program on this same input. Let's play the video. Okay, so let's just start by typing the number of processes. Three. Um, process uh, one arrival time zero burst current three and process 2 arrival time 1 burst time 2 and process 3 arrival time is at uh, 2 burst time 1 let's see so you can see that uh, it works on P1 from 0 1 2 S and at 3 S it works on P3 and 4 and 5 S it works on P2 same, same output as in our previous example Okay, so that's how my C++ program works and I really encourage you to uh, code the shortest job first in the same way or the way you like. But if you have done so, let me know in the comments and share your program so that we can all see how it works. Now, I wrote another simulation on vb.net for shortest job first. This is not, a, uh, this is a continuous, I mean, this is not like the C++ version. In C++ version, you entered the process burst time and uh, arrival time, but here it's a simulation. It's the processor always working and waiting for tasks to be done. We enter the task and it starts processing it. Let's see the video. Okay, so this is just a kind of simulation. You can see that there is an arrival time going on, which is uh, think it as a continuous time. So there is no job currently. This uh, this box, this table will show the ongoing processes, and this will show the completed processes. So let's just start by typing burst time five. Okay, the project. Process has been added. Now I add another. Now I add another. Okay, bigger. Okay, so you can see the ongoing processes, which one it is working on, and how it is getting done. You can see everything here. Okay, so let's wait for all the processes being put done. Okay, so now you can see. Uh, sorry that I have a wrong label here. Wait time for each process. It should be uh, total wait time, which is four seconds. I'm counting the time in seconds, which could be nanoseconds in some uh, real time. Okay, so we can see the process zero is arrived at one one two s. Then for total time five, and it was done in one one seven. So it really didn't wait. You can see here zero waited for zero seconds. Process one arrived at one one seven with total time eight, and it 
was done in 125 so it also didn't really wait for anyone but process 4 was uh, it, it, it's in order of getting done I mean this is with which it's ordered but process 3 process 2 then uh, arrived at 120 with burst time of 6 seconds but it was completed in 133 so it waited for a long 7 seconds and why it was waiting you can see the timeline here so process 0 which is P0 uh, continuously worked for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 seconds and it was done then it was P1 working P1, 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 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, um, 8 so it took the 8 seconds and then at that moment we can see that 2 arrived at 20, 3 arrived at 22 and 23 it arrived for um, with the total time of 2 seconds so what really happened is that it started working from 112 so at 125 when P one was completed there were three jobs already in the queue which is, which are two three and four why because two arrived at 120 three arrived at 122 four arrived at 123 so that means all these three processes arrived before p1 was completed at 125 so we can easily figure it out that P2 were already waiting for 5 seconds then P3 was waiting for 3 seconds and P4 waited for 2 seconds as because at that moment P1 was getting done and okay so after that moment at 126 it was P4 which was the shortest among 4, 2 and 3 so we can see that the processor worked on P4 for 2 seconds and we can easily see that after it was done at 127 it was done at 128 the shortest job was P2 so it started working on P2 uh, Okay, so it was working one second, two, three, four, five, six seconds, and P3 was still waiting to get a chance to be processed in a way. So that's how it worked, and you can see the wait time here which process waited for uh, how many times. So Again, if we add another process here for 2, for 5, for 1, you can see though a pro process is coming uh, later, it will be processed earlier if it is having a sh short burst time, I mean a smallest time to get processed. If it asks for low time, then it's earlier processes then it will get the priority it will get processed first so that's how shortest job first scheduling algorithm is working you can download both both of these codes uh, from the links in the blog post so you can test it yourself okay so that was the simulation from my bb.net program so it's already a long video thank you for watching and uh, subscribe to our channel and also uh, videos on other scheduling algorithm which are round robbing first and first year and uh, 
priority should you link all those are coming so if you subscribe you will get you will get notified or you can keep look keep your eyes on on my blog so that you get the videos first okay thank you so much for watching the video